welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so today i am doing a nightstand makeover and i haven't painted nightstands in a really long time so let's watch this video i hope that you enjoy it i am using that new brand again melange paints which they sent me two colors one that i used last week and the one today is called the all-in-one basilisk black i think i'm saying that right and i just absolutely loved this color so enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and get notified for when i post new videos each week and on the november 26th i'm actually doing a collaboration with other youtube channels and it's called the cozy winter collaboration so i am so excited for that i've already done the piece for it and it's just it's it's amazing so i'm excited to see everybody else's videos as well so stay tuned for that and i will put a reminder in my community posts about it and the host for that is Flipping Drawers. So check out his channel, you'll love it. So enjoy this video, let's get started. So here are the nightstands that I am going to be showing you today and doing a makeover on. Now you can see that the top on one table is bubbled and underneath it's actually particle board. So they are not solid wood. I would probably say the drawer sides and the legs are wood, but the rest of it is particle board. So first off, I started sanding and did not record me sanding, but as I sanded the bubbles, it actually turned out I could see the MDF underneath and that wasn't gonna work. And I have made many tops, wood tops in the past and I haven't done that in a really long time with my husband's help and so we made some new tops so to get off the old tops there were screws that I could see and so I removed the screws but I could not move this remove the screws at the very back because I couldn't see them and it came off pretty easy as you can see here I just had to hammer them off and they just came off like that so I lifted them back up and as you can see at the back, there's a little piece of wood that came off and I removed that and took out the screws. I was looking through my wood pile and found two pieces, <laughs> almost the exact size that I needed to fit on the top. I could not believe it. I was so thankful. And all I had to do was cut the sides so that they perfectly fit and had a little bit hanging over the edge and also routered the edges. So I took off the handles and I decided that I was actually going to keep these handles. So I put the screws and the handles aside because I thought that they actually matched and they were pretty new. They weren't ruined or discolored or just chipped or anything. So I kept those handles. And if you've ever needed a recommendation for a screwdriver, this little yellow screwdriver is actually a magnet. It's so great for taking out screws. So I scuff sanded the entire piece on both tables just so that there's better adhesion. Now at this point, I did not know what color I was using. I did have the melange paint and I just was, I just was not sure which color I was going for. Usually I know beforehand, but this time I didn't. So I scuff sanded them and then cleaned the tables, but I also wanted to cover the top because that top was open and the drawers were underneath and I didn't want any product going inside. So I used my favorite cover, which is the Blue Painter's Plastic. You can get it in different sizes on Amazon. I will put this um, product in my description box. It was having a bit of a hard time sticking actually because I think that it was the particle board underneath, but I, I got it and I used green tape to tape the sides. as you can see here. So all I had to do was just tuck in the bit of the plastic and then only have the plastic stick halfway onto the tape. And then I did that all the way around. So I then cleaned the tables with crud cutter, which I was actually running out of. Love this product. I feel like it just gets everything off. 
and there were a couple of spills, spill drips on these tables, but the crud cutter worked and got it all off. So I did that with both tables, and I think I ended up having to use a little bit of Windex because I was running out of the crud cutter, like I said. Then I saw just, just a couple of little dents so in the laminate, so I just got my DAP wood filler and just scraped a little bit onto those little dents so that you wouldn't see them or feel them. Then I, once it was dry, I sanded with just 220 sanding paper, just running my finger over it just to make sure that it was completely dry and flat. Not dry, sorry, flat, because I don't want to feel any bumps. Once that was done, I just wiped it with the crud cutter again and then started to spray my primer. Now, like I said, I used white primer because I actually didn't know what color I was, what I was using or what look I was going for at this point. But I probably would have primed it anyway because I want that extra durability. So this is the Kills Restoration Primer, which is my favorite all-time primer now only one I'll use although I do use the Bazinza Bin 123 in gray so this is where I've decided that I was going with the melange paints in the basilisk basilisk black and it's an all-in-one paint so it does say that you do not have to top coat but I did anyway isn't that gorgeous I absolutely love it then it was time to do the other table and if you want to know more about my Wagner Flexio 5000 sprayer I do have two other videos that are all about this sprayer it gets quite easy once you get used to spraying and you also get used to your sprayer and what you like and what flow and settings you like This color went on absolutely beautiful. Such a smooth finish. And I also sanded in between coats. I really like to use my 1500 or 2000 sanding block in between the paint surfaces. It makes such a good smooth finish. And then I used Rust-Oleum Spray. This is my favorite one in the Champagne Mist. And I sprayed the hardware, the original hardware, just very lightly. And so I only did one coat because I didn't want them to be too, too covered, if you know what I mean. When I was taking out the drawers, I noticed that some of the runners were loose. So I put in some carpenter's wood glue into underneath the runners and just held them for a few minutes. And it worked so well, it's now very safe and durable. So these are the tops and you can see that the edges are routed nicely. Mr. Lovely did that for me as I still have not figured out completely how to do the router yet. I will one day. And then I decided that I was going to do the two top drawers of each table. Now I used tissue paper, which I've never done before. I've always lined my drawers with wallpaper, but I thought that I would give this a go because I have seen others line their drawers. And the redesign of Prima tissue paper is really thick and durable. So I brushed the, the bottom surface with Country Sheet Paint Clear Coat, which I find is the absolute best and durable for tissue paper. I then measured the tissue paper inside the drawer and laid it down and then brushed clear coat on top of it and let it dry. While that was drying, I moved on to the tops and I haven't been using stains lately. So I've been using Country Sheet Paint Glaze, which actually acts like a stain and looks like a stain. And it dries faster so that you don't have to wait those 72 hours like you do with stain to apply the next coat or top coat. So it just dries like paint does. This one's called Graphite Glaze and it's such a beautiful color and look at that. It doesn't that look like stain? I, I just love it. Um, and if you want it any darker, I add a little bit of paint to it. And then once it's completely dry, you can top coat. You don't have to wait at all. 
So once the, gla the glaze had dried, I added a little bit more glaze, but this time I added smoky quartz glaze, which was sort of a reddish brown color. And I rubbed that on with the Country Chic Paint sponge because I wanted it to have those different barn board tones to it. And it, they turned out absolutely beautiful. So once those were done, I started top coating and I used Country Chic Pink Clear Coat, which is my all time favorite top coat. And again, if you want to know how to spray the top coat, just look up my other video. I'll put the link above. Once that was dry, I got the handles on and here is the final look. I think they turned out absolutely beautiful. I hope that you enjoyed that video and it they actually sold right away. Um, I had them posted last week. They sold a few days after that. I got so many messages about them. Everybody loved the wood tops and that color. Just so beautiful. And I loved that style of furniture as well, especially those legs. So again, I hope that you enjoyed it. And don't forget, November 26 is the Cozy Winter Collaboration. I again will put a reminder about that on my community tab po er, <laughs> community tab and also don't forget to subscribe and hit those notifications and likes enjoy your day and your rest of your weekend and i will see you next week